All right, finally, there is another question I want you to consider. Uh, and this question will help you uh, to solve your homework problems. So let's, let's consider this question. So this time, so in previous problems, we neglected the resistance of the wires in the circuit. So we neglected that the wires can have a finite resistance. In general, this is not true, okay? So, and this time we will include the resistance in the wires, okay? So in the circuit uh, shown here below, uh, the voltage drop across uh, the load is 8.8 .8 volt, volts. So the voltage drop across these two points, so across the load, is 8.8 .8 volts. And I indicated this uh, in this figure. Okay, so additionally what we are given that the voltage drop across all the wires is 0.2 volts. I haven't yet indicated it in this figure and it will be clear why I haven't uh, done it yet, but in the future I will show it. Uh, finally, what we are given is that uh, the total resistance in the wires, so this is the total resistance in the wires alone, so this doesn't include the load, so just the wires, is 0.6 ohm. Okay, so, <clears throat> and what we need to find, we need to find the current in the circuit. Okay, first. And then what we will uh, want to find as well is the resistance of the load. Okay, but we will start first from finding the current. I can redraw this um, uh, circuit uh, in the following equivalent form where my wires will have zero resistance, but instead I will include uh, this resistance uh, over here as an actual resistor. Okay, so now my wires will have zero resistance, but I will include an additional resistor uh, into this circuit over here, and the resistance of this resistor will be uh, given by the resistance of the wires, uh, and it is uh, given uh, by 0.6 ohms. Okay, I will just include the resistance of the wires separately as a as a resistor over here. So we know that the voltage drop across this resistance will be 0.2 volts, right? So it was given over here, and now I I will explicitly explicitly include it uh, in this figure. So the voltage drop between these two points is 0.2 volts. All right, so what I want to find, I want to find the current in this circuit. So the current uh, uh, across the entire circuit is the same. Okay, and therefore, I will be able, to, so this everything is in connected in series. Okay, so this is all in series. And uh, so the current through this uh, resistor is the same as the current through this resistor and the current you know, across this uh, system of the wires. All right, so I have the Ohm's law, and the Ohm's law tells me that the voltage drop across these two points is the same as the current uh, over here uh, through this resistor or resistance of all these wires times the resistance. I can solve this uh, for the current, and I will get this ratio, to which I can substitute the numbers uh, we are given the voltage drop, it's 0.2 volts, it's already NSI units. And the resistance is given, it's 0.6 ohms, and it's already also NSI units. Next, I need to substitute uh, the numbers, it's over here. I will simplify this, one can just simplify this and immediately write the final result, it is one third of ampere. Uh, but you can use also the calculator and to compute the result. So approximately this is actually, is just 0 0.333 ampere. Okay, please check my calculations, I might not be right, so please check it with the calculator. All right, so now we want to find the resistance of the load, okay? So to find the resistance of the load, we know uh, the voltage drop across the load 
and actually we now know also the current since you found the current through uh, this resistor or the current through the wires um, then we will we also know the current uh, through this load so it's absolutely the same the current through this load is the same as the current through the resistor we just found then we use the ohm's law which tells us that the voltage drop across the load is equals of the current through the load times the resistance of the load the current through the load is the same as the current through the wires so we will substitute this factor over here and we will solve this equation for the resistance of the load and here is the solution of this equation so it's delta v divided by i by the current so the remaining part is just to substitute the numbers uh, the voltage drop is given it's 8.8 .8 volts and we divide this by the uh, current, which we just found. It was one third ampere. I substituted over here. And this is the same as 26.4 ohms. Please check my math, but I do believe it's, it, it is correct. And this is how we solve the problems when we include the resistance in the wires.